everyone, Luke Gordon here, and in this video we are going to talk about um, a newer topic that I, haven't, that I haven't put out in blogs or videos yet, and it's about lymphedema and chronic swelling. So this is going to be the first video in this series where we're just going to talk about what is lymphedema um, and what is the lymphatic system. So this will kind of be just the introduction to the topic <coughs> when you talk about, um, again, what is the system that's, that's involved with it. Um, it's good to have an understanding on, on this level first before you start looking at, okay, what's the specific cause and then later on we'll talk about how to treat it too. So again, this is the first video in the series. I'm planning on doing at least two more videos in terms of um, the other causes of lymphedema and then um, at least one or two videos on uh, treatment options for lymphedema. So um, I've got my probably my best drawing ever here on the board behind me and I'm gonna just explain what lymphedema is by explaining what a lymphatic system is. So I don't know if you've heard of the system before, lymphatic system, but the drawing should help at least I think so. Let's start from there. So um, as you can see on the board here, we have your heart up here, my beautiful drawing of a heart. I even labeled it in case you couldn't tell. Um, and basically, when you look at the lymphatic system, we're looking at the circulatory system or your blood. So on this side closest to me, you see the red blood. This is your arterial blood. So this is blood that's um, being pumped from your heart uh, into your tissues. So this is going this way into your tissues. Now what happens with your arterial blood, which is full of oxygen because it's already gone to your lungs, is that this blood is going to go into your tissues. So down here, you can see this would be like various tissue in your body, and these are the small capillaries. So all of this blood here has blood pressure. You, when you can feel your pulse, that's an artery. So the blood is pumping away from your heart into your tissue. Um, once it goes to your tissue, you know it's bringing nutrition, it's bringing oxygen, um, all sorts of good things. Eventually then it's going to get picked up by these little tiny blood vessels, other capillaries, and it's going to go into your veins. So this side on the blue side is your veins. Um, your veins do not have blood pressure because all of that's gone after it kind of goes into the tissue. Um, but the, bl the blood in your veins then is eventually going to get squeezed back into your heart. So it's a nice little loop here. So you have your heart pumping, pumping, pumping all the time. Uh, the oxygenated blood is flowing away from the heart. You've got blood pressure over here. It's pumping into the tissues. After it's brought all the good stuff to the tissues, it's going to be reabsorbed primarily by these little capillaries by your veins. The veins, the blood in your veins is ultimately going to get squished back to your heart. And it's just going to keep going around and around. Now there are a lot of other things kind of that we could have added to this drawing to make it really confusing. I think the most obvious one that I left off is your lungs. Um, because when, when your blood actually returns to your heart, on the right side of your heart, it's actually going to get pumped to your lungs and then back to the left side of your heart and then out again. But again, not that important for the purposes of understanding lymphedema right now. So that's the big loop, overall loop there. But then what happens is at these smaller blood vessels here where the arterial blood is being picked up by the venous system, your veins, is that a small portion of the fluid from your blood is going to trickle out and it's going to get absorbed by your lymphatic system. So that's what I drew in green here. That's your lymphatic system. Um, so again, you've got these little vessels, little lymphatic vessels that are collecting a portion of this blood. Um, I wouldn't think of it as it's collecting blood, it's collecting fluid from your blood. And it's collecting the fluid. And I think most people have heard of the term lymph nodes. Uh, those circles are my attempts to draw lymph nodes. So all of these little ducts and little, uh, little lymph vessels are filtering the fluid, which is now lymph fluid through the nodes and ultimately it's going to come back and it's going to dump back into your veins uh, just before it goes back to your heart. Now again, very simplified drawing here. Uh, if you were to you know, Google an image of your lymphatic system, what you would see is you have this network, almost like a spider webbing of lymphatic ducts and vessels. Um, vessels is a more accurate term, not ducts. Uh, vessels and nodes all throughout your body. And so if you ever heard of someone having, you know, lymph nodes removed from cancer treatment, things like that, that's what they're talking about. They're removing sections of your lymphatic system. So going back a step then, why do we have a lymphatic system? What's the function of it? Um, there's several key functions. Um, I like to think of it as it's a really important part of your immune system because as, your, as the lymph fluid is moving through the network of vessels and lymph nodes, it's, um, it's exposing certain toxins and foreign substances um, to your white blood cells. So that's helping your immune system stay up to date and fight off infections and things like that. 
The other nice way I think to look at the lymphatic system in an oversimplified way is that it's kind of like a recycle system. It's cleansing certain things out of your blood before it returns it back into the blood supply. Um, so that's one of the main functions. It's also absorbing fluids. So excess fluid in your body is going to get reabsorbed by the lymphatic system and then filtered through. Uh, and it's also helping with um, mobilizing certain fats in your system. So as with most things in the human body, it's more complex than you probably care to know, but that's the system. That's what it's there for. It's helping clean your blood. It's helping with your immune response. It's helping clear fats. It's helping clear fluid. So that's the system there. Um, and again, you talk about people like with cancer and they're having obstruction to the lymphatic system. And this is getting into then, okay, so what is lymphedema? So lymphedema essentially is when there's an overload of the system or the system isn't working properly and now you've got swelling building up in the system because it's not being it's not being reabsorbed and then put back into the blood supply. So the easiest way to think of lymphedema or the easiest example, the most common we see with our clients in the clinic is the woman who's had breast cancer and she's had say a lumpectomy or a full removal of you know the breast tissue um, with removal of some of the lymph nodes and then also typically follow with radiation and chemo. So what happens then is if you surgically remove a portion of lymph nodes in let's say this region and you follow up with radiation which causes scar tissue, all of that is going to have a negative effect on the lymph fluid flow from that section of your body. So the lymph fluid that would be reabsorbed in your arm and is trying to move you know, ultimately towards, um, towards the um, ducts and things like that that are going to dump it back into your veins, all of that's obstructed. So what happens then is all that gets backed up kind of like an overclogged highway, and you'll have someone with a really swollen arm, chronically swollen because of the damage to the lymphatic system. So that, in a nutshell, is what lymphedema is. That's the most common thing you're going to see with lymphedema is, um, you know, the post-cancer um, patient, um, although there's other things that can cause it. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail today um, because, quite honestly, it's, there's a lot to know about the lymphatic system if you're going to treat it. Um, just, I think, to full disclosure, I'm not an expert in treating it, um, but there are physical therapists who are. So like at the clinic here, we have uh, physical therapists who are experts at treating it. Um, that would be my word of wisdom to you watching the video is that if you're going to get help with it, get someone who knows what they're doing. Um, the average PT, myself included, doesn't have a whole lot of training, and it's very specialized training when you look at um, how to clear the lymph fluid and things like that. So again, we'll talk about more of those details in later videos when we talk about, okay, what are the various causes of lymphedema and uh, what are the treatment options look like um, because you want to be able to really understand the system and see how to clear it out and, and keep the fluid moving so you can avoid that really, you know, um, it can be painful, but mostly just cumbersome swelling that you get with lymphedema. So again, that's the first video in the series. There's your lymphatic system. I hope that makes sense. Uh, lymphedema in an oversimplified uh, explanation is just an overload of the system or the system isn't working properly, so you have excess fluid that isn't being cleared, which results in swelling. So there's your explanation. Again, look out for some future videos. I'm going to be making those in the next probably few days, next week or so. Um, I'll probably have about four videos in the series, so I'll label it on the titles, but this is the first one. And um, obviously, if you have questions, you can direct them towards me, and then I'll ask someone who knows more than me, and I'll get back to you. So there you go. There's the video for today. Thanks for watching.